For the beam loaded as shown, compute the value of deflection at the pre-end. Step number one, determine the value of wall shear and wall moment. Ito yung ating wall shear, tawagin natin B sub O. Then meron tayong resisting moment, tawagin natin M sub O. Using summation of all forces vertical is equal to zero, B sub O is equal to one half ng 100 times yung length nyan, 2.5. Therefore, B sub O is equal to 125 newton. At ang moment na maproproduce ng resisting moment MO ay equal sa moment na maproproduce ng 100 newton per meter load sa point O or sa built-in support. Equal yon sa negative 1 half ng 100 times 2.5. Ito pa lang yung load. At ang moment arm niyan hanggang sa point O is equal sa 2 third ng 2.5. Therefore, the value of MO is equal sa negative 625 over 3 newton meter. Step number 2. Sketch the elastic curve of the beam, taking into account the boundary conditions. Para dito sa ating cantilever beam, alam natin na sa built-in support is zero yung value ng slope and deflection and maximum value of deflection at the pre-end. Step number 3. Use the method of sections to determine the bending moment M at an arbitrary distance X from the origin. Take note, make all the loading continuous up to the last segment. Kailangan natin gawing continuous hanggang distance X itong uniformly varying load na 100 newton per meter. Dahil nagdagdag tayo ng load, Mababago ngayon yung loading ng beam. Kailangan kung ano yung dinagdag natin ay ibabawas din natin. Hanggang sa length na to is 100 newton per meter. Itong length na to, tawagin natin C prime. At yung total length ng triangle ay C. Ganun din dito sa baba. By ratio and proportion or using similar triangle, the 100 newton per meter load is to 2.5 meter length is equal to say prime is to x minus 2.5 or is to c over x. Therefore, c prime is equal to 40 times x minus 2.5 and c is equal to 40x. Magtake tayo ngayon ng moment at distance x. Moment is equal to EIY double prime. Yung MO muna, negative 625 over 3. Plus yung shear O, pataas, 125. At yung moment arm yan hanggang distance X is X. Next naman is yung downward load na uniformly varying load. Ito yun. At ang intensity niya na equal to say or 40X. Pababa, minus 1 half. Intensity, 40X times yung length nyan ay x, eto pa lang yung load, at yung moment arm nyan is equal to 1 third ng x. Next naman is yung upward load, patrapezoid yan, pero pwede natin siyang hatiin into rectangular load and triangular load. Yung intensity ng rectangular load is 100 newton per meter, at yung intensity naman ng triangular load na pataas is equal to C prime, eto yun. Yung rectangular load muna, pataas, 100 times x minus 2.5, direct rectangular load siya. At ang moment arm niya hanggang distance x is equal to x minus 2.5 over 2. Next naman is yung triangular load na pataas, plus 1 half ng 40 x minus 2.5, times yung length niyan, x minus 2.5, eto pa lang yung load, at yung moment arm niya is equal to 1 third ng x minus 2.5. I-simplify lang natin yung ating moment equation. 40 over 2, 20 over 3, minus 20 over 3, 1, 2, 3, tatlo yung x, so x cubed, plus 100 over 2, 50, 1, 2, dalawa yung x minus 2.5, so squared, plus 40 over 2, 20 over 3, 1, 2, 3, tatlo yung x minus 2.5, so cube. 
Kapag paulit-ulit mo na siyang ginagawa, mapapansin mo na yung technique. Cube yung magiging exponent ng x kapag triangular load at squared naman kapag rectangular load. Step number 4. By integration, integrate the expressions for m twice to obtain the value of eiy. I-integrate natin ng isang beses yung eiy double prime equal yon sa eiy prime is equal to negative 625 over 3 times x plus 125 x squared over 2 minus 20 over 3 x to the 4th over 4 plus 50 x minus 2.5 cube over 3 plus 20 over 3 x minus 2.5 to the 4th over 4 plus c1. Pag multiplyin ko lang yung denominator, ito ay equal sa 12. Ito din ay equal sa 12. Integrate natin ulit ng isang beses para makuha yung value ng EIY or yung deflection equation. Negative 625 over 3 x squared over 2 plus 125 over 2 x cubed over 3 minus 20 over 12 x to the pip over 5 plus 50 over 3 x minus 2.5 to the fourth over 4 plus 20 over 12 x minus 2.5 to the pip over 5 plus c1x plus c2. Isimplify ko lang yung deflection equation equal yan sa negative 625 x squared over 6 plus 125 over 6 x cubed minus x pip over 3 plus 25 over 6, x minus 2.5 raised to the 4, plus x minus 2.5 to the p over 3, c1x plus c2. Step number 5, evaluate the constants of integration from boundary conditions. Dahil sa built-in support tayo nag-start ng x, therefore, ito yung ating zero mark, Thus, when x is equal to 0, y prime is 0, y is equal to 0. And when the value of x is equal to 4.5, the value of y is equal to y max. Or iyon yung value ng deflection at the pre-end. Yung unang boundary condition na gamitin natin is when the value of x is equal to 0, the value of y prime is equal to 0. Using the slope equation, when y prime is 0, x is 0, x 0, x0, x0, kaso negative yung magiging term na to. x0, negative yung magiging term na to. Therefore, c1 is equal to 0. The next boundary condition, when the value of x is equal to 0, the value of deflection is equal to 0. Using the deflection equation, y0, x0, 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 kaso negative yung term na to, not included, same as to this. C1 is 0, therefore C2 is equal to 0. Meron na tayong value ng C1 and C2, which is 0. Ang pinapahanap sa atin is yung value ng deflection at the free end. Therefore, when the value of x is equal to 4.5, yun yung value ng y sa free end. Equal din yun sa maximum deflection. Using the deflection equation, EIY sa free end, is equal to negative 625 over 6. Palitan lang natin yung value ng x ng 4.5. Kapag kinompute natin yan, yung value ng EIY free n na makukuha natin is equal to negative 748.40 newton meter cube. Or pwede din naman na gawin natin positive, 748.40 newton meter cube downward.